So let me ask you something that might save your life. Are you taking a blood thinners right now? Or maybe you're worried about blood clots. Either way, you need to hear this because what I'm about to share isn't just another medical lecture. This is about understanding a blood thinning at a level most doctors don't even discuss. I'm talking about a complete protocol that could literally be the difference between life and death. And no, this isn't replacing your medication. It's about understanding the whole picture. Because here's the truth. Most people on blood thinners are missing critical pieces of the puzzle. Pieces that could make their medication work better or even help prevent the need for stronger drugs in the first place. So if you want to understand the blood thinning from a perspective that combines both traditional medicine and cutting edge natural approaches, Keep watching. This could be the most important 10 minutes of your life. But before we dive in, let's address the elephant in the room. Traditional blood thinners like warfarin or newer drugs like Zeratro work, but there's just one piece of the puzzle. Here's what most doctors don't discuss. One, the body's natural clotting mechanism is complex. Two, multiple pathways need attention. Three, Nutrition plays a crucial role. And four, timing matters more than you think. And most importantly, you need to understand why you're prone to clotting in the first place. Your blood health depends on three critical pillars and missing any one of them could be dangerous. So pillar number one, fibrin control. Think of fibrin as a spider web in your blood vessels triggered by stress, inflammation, or injury. Build up over time if not properly broken down and it could lead to clot formation. Pillar number two, platelet function. See, sticky platelets are like Velcro in your bloodstream. They clump together, uh, form microclots, reduce blood flow, increase inflammation, and lead to vessel damage. And three, Endothelial health. Your blood vessel protective barrier, which lines all blood vessels, controls blood pressure, regulates inflammation, produces nitric oxide, and is the first line of defense, protective layer function. So let's start with the most powerful natural blood thinners, and I'll share exactly why and how to use them. First up is narokinase. Most people take it wrong. Optimal dose is 4,000 fibrin unit three times daily. Critical timing away from meals. Why? Half-life is only four to six hours. Must be combined with other enzymes for best effect. Next is lumbrokinase, more potent than narokinase. Dose 20 milligrams twice daily. Best for existing clots, expensive but worth it. Warning, do start slow and build up. Now the game changer setup up days, 200,000 SPU three times daily on an empty stomach only, breaks down dead tissue, pairs perfectly with narokinase. Don't take with medications. Now let's address platelet function. This is crucial because even with perfect fibrin control, sticky platelets can still cause problems. All components, fish oil, not any fish oil will do. Look for quality cod liver oil. Requirement is three to four grams of EPA and DHA daily. Must be triglyceride form. Take with heaviest meal. Check for rancidity. Second is systematic enzymes. Bromelain, 1500 milligrams three times daily. Must be enteric coated. Take between meals. Number three, some critical minerals. You got magnesium chloride, 200 milligrams three times daily. You have zinc, 30 milligrams once daily, four hours apart from magnesium. Both reduce platelet aggregation. Must be glycinate form for zinc. Your endothelial support protocol, this often overlooked piece, your blood vessel lining. Number one, vitamin K2, MK7, 500 micrograms daily minimum. Must be in MK7 form. Take with dinner only, crucial for calcium control. Number two, pomegranate extract, 1000 milligrams of pure elagic acid, 95% or higher. Take twice daily, 
with meals only. It does reduce arterial damage. Number three, aged garlic extract, 1200 milligrams twice daily, must be aged form. Take three months to actually work. So timing is everything and pausing the video back and forth to take notes makes it a bit tough. So I took the time to create a free PDF downloadable version of the supplement I mentioned with timing. For example, morning, mid-morning, afternoon, etc. Link within my video description, check it out. Now, if you're on prescription blood thinners, do start protocol at a one quarter dose, monitor INR weekly, inform your doctor, watch for interactions, build up slowly, never stop medications without guidance, adjust protocol based on biomarker testing for best results. Now, beyond supplements, daily movement is crucial. Hydration impacts blood viscosity. Sleep affects chlorine. Stress management is essential. Temperature regulation matters. So remember, start slow, monitor closely, work with professionals, stay consistent, keep detailed records. This protocol has helped thousands and it must be personalized. Like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe for more protocols, comment below with questions, join my community for support. For detailed protocols and supplement recommendations, visit link in description, follow for weekly health updates, share with someone who needs this information. Cheers.